Hello, physics. Um, this is another, this is a video that I wanted to start uh, talking about what we talked about in class the other day, particularly those for, for people that missed in reference to forces. We started talking about forces um, in the bowling ball activity that we did, which we'll make sure we talk about next time in class. But I wanted to make sure that I gave you the information so you could complete Unit 1, Worksheet 1. Or, you, excuse me, Unit 4, Worksheet 1. Let's consider an object. Um, if we consider this just being the table, a table here, then we just have a box sitting on a table. The question is, well, that box, let's consider what forces are acting on that box. Well, as we discussed from the bowling ball activity, any time that you contact the bowling ball, or any time you make contact with something, you are physically exerting a force. And so the box, I need to sh first ask, well, is there anything touching the box? And yeah, clearly the table is touching the box. And so what I'm going to start here is what's called a system schema. And on unit four worksheet one, um, schema. Unit four worksheet one A, we are going to, I'm going to ask you to do a system schema for every single problem, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I know that there is a box. So I'm going to write box, circle it. Additionally, I know that the box is in direct contact with the table. So I'm going to write table in a circle. And then, I know that there's one other thing contributing to force. For instance, I know that the box is being held down because of gravity. And so what causes gravity? Well, I could just write gravity, but I, here I wrote the object that is exerting a force and the object that is exerting a force. And so I should, op I should uh, write what is actually causing gravity, and that would be the Earth. And so the way this system schema works is as follows. I'm going to ask myself, I'm going to look at the Earth. Is the Earth exerting a force on the box? Sure. So I'm going to draw a line like that. Is the Earth exerting a force on the table? Sure. Is the box, or is the table exerting a force on the box? Sure. And so I draw all these lines. Then what I do is I'm like, okay, well, what I originally wanted to know in this problem was, what forces are exerted on the box. So what I'm going to do in my system schema is this. I'm going to draw a box around the box. That's ironic. And I'm going to say, that is my system right there. So now I'm going to ask myself, well, how many forces are acting on the box? Well, I see that there is two lines going into the box. Two. Because of that, I should have two forces acting on it. So now what we do is we represent what's called a free body diagram. And so knowing this system schema, to represent the box, I'm not going to take the time to draw intricately every object. Instead, I'm just going to represent the box with a dot. So that dot represents my box. Then I have these forces. I have the force that the table exerts on the box and the force that the earth exerts on the box. Let's start with the earth on the box. Because I know that the box is being held down due to gravity, force is a vector. And so I'm going to show that vector quantity going down. And I'm going to label that force of earth acting on the box. So force of earth on box. Then I'm going to consider my system scheme here. I, that takes care of this force. That's taken care of. I now know that there's a contact force between the table and the box. Well, what's the table doing? Well, if I look here, I know that the earth is pulling it down, so what's the table got to do? Well, it's got to be pushing it up. And so the arrow goes up. And this is force of table on box. Now, one more thing before we're done. Th this, what we just created, is called a force diagram. That's what the 
the paper calls it. I call them free body diagrams, but they're the same thing. Oop, diagram. That is a force diagram. Now, one last thing about the force diagram that I, that's important to point out. In this particular example, I know that the force of gravity is pulling it down, and I know that the force of the table on box is pull, pushing it back up. Well, how do those forces compare? Well, as we talked about with the bowling ball activity, in o if there is no change in velocity, then that means there are no no forces acting on it. But we know that there's forces. It's just no net forces on it. And so that means that there can't be a net force, which means that these guys have to be equal. And so I'm going to represent that by showing equality marks just like that. This is the force diagram. This is the system schema. That's what you're going to be doing on every single problem on Unit 4, Worksheet 1A.